All right, we're back with another edition of the Uncle Ken's uh, Professional Fly Tying. Here's another pattern. It's not as good as a Peacock King, but I'll tell you what, man, this thing works. First thing we're going to do, and, and now this is a secret I'll tell you, is bigger fish don't like smaller fish to eat in their food. And so we're going to show you how this this here fly acts as if it's a, a, a streamer that's eating little nymphs, and it's going to piss off the bigger ones to get them to eat it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to Start out with us some good old black thread. We're going to tie us a little midge. So this is going to show up like it's been eaten by this uh, streamer. I call it a woolly bug. Get her all threaded up. You know, common tying terms is thread her on up. Bring her forward and just kind of bring your wire up through there. Just like that. So it looks like one of them zebra midges, whatever you all fancy fellers call. Yeah, where are my good scissors? I'll get in nice and tight and cut it off just like that. All right, so that's going to be our start for this one. Uh, and again, you don't want to use black thread on your flies. You want to use bright stuff right here. Oh man, the junk does neat. They don't make it like they did back when I was tying flies. Okay, nice and clean. Now, as you can see, also we've upgraded our vise. The other one, he kept to, to twisting on me and such, so we we got a vise that won't move. And one thing you want to make sure of is see our hook. You can't even see that point. Watch this. Don't hurt. Don't hurt. Don't hurt. Because the hook's gone. The point is not there. So we're going to take us uh, some chicken feather right here. And this is going to be the tail of my my groundbreaking uh, woolly bug. And, you know, you want it nice and long because them, them fish like long stuff. Believe me. Okay, so we're just going to tie it in there nice and clean. Just right about like that. And we're just going to come in and snip it off. Alright. Don't worry. It's going to look real good when we're done. Don't worry about it. It's, that's exactly the way we're meaning to do it. Now we're going to take some of this uh, fancy pipe cleaner. But before I do, I just got to make sure that my tail is, see, just the right size. Yeah, we're about there, about 2.4 inches, something like that. You got to calibrate everything. Now I'm going to take some of this pipe cleaner. I'm going to throw it on there. Damn it. Okay, sometimes you got to get the tools in there, so I'm going to lay it on there and take some of these fancy pinchers there we go and just kind of get it all in there and then just pull them out trick I bet you didn't know all right so now we're all tied in oh there we go okay we're out of the way now all righty time to tie in our uh this is another chicken feather, just a different color. We got all colors over here. We're just going to take it up and tie it in. Make sure you cut everything off nice and even. See how that profile is? Perfect. Kind of like the fatty long tail, but we're going to cover it all up. I'm just going to take my thread and bring it on forward. Just a little bit of thread. And this is the part where my streamer is actually swallowing at their uh, zebra midge. So what that's going to do, that bigger fish is going to see the zebra midge in his belly and he's going to be pissed off and he's going to say, nobody's going to eat my, my nymphs. So to hell with that, I'm going to eat you. All right. So I'm going to wrap this forward nice and tight and proportionate. Trim that off right there. Okay, 
reinforce it a little bit, hang my thread off right there. We could fish it right now, okay? That's a fishable fly, but we're going to make it look real pretty. Now, the fat part's got to be in the back, okay? Just like some of the girls I used to date in high school, they're a little bit thicker in the back than in the front. And we're going to, you know, wrap it forward a little bit. Yeah, so. Well, we'll see what we can do. We'll fix it later. Uh, wrap it all the way up to the front. Wrap it, your thread back over it a little bit and then go back up through it. And sometimes I got to use these little sissy scissors to get in there and cut it. All right, we're looking good. Next thing you do, see this is kind of a mess, is you, you take yourself a toothbrush. It's the last toothbrush that we've had in this house. It's the last one that's going to be here. I'll tell you that right now. And you just kind of brush it all out, okay? Get the marabou up in there, chicken stuff, and just brush it all out. See how much better that looks now? Okay, again, uh, taught you a lesson uh, about some, uh, you know, properties of the fly, the proportion. Now, what I like to do, and all you fancy fellers use that glue and such with the lights, I just like to kind of look over. Look at that. Look at that thread shine through, Okay. Tell me that your woolly bugs is going to do that. That's an uncle can guarantee that them fish are going to see it with their UV violet uh, ultra rays they got in their eyeballs in there. All right. Okay, we talked about uh, them whip finishers. I don't, I don't, like last time I whipped something, I got in trouble. And so we got our secret weapon, wild shine. My daughter Leticia was, uh, caught her out there, they, her welding class was over for dinner and one of the girls had it so I just took it off her, she don't know. Oh, uh, so I'm just going to get in there and whip finish it with that. So see them sparkles that come on there? Tell you what, that's a fishy bug. We don't got to cut the thread, in fact I like to leave a little bit hanging there. You know, because it's going to attract them fish to come over. So, cut it about right th like that. So, we're we're just about wrapping her up. Sherry Jean, will you shut up in there? Now, my wife's in there uh, training some poodles, and it's really to piss me off. They just keep humping my leg and tearing up my good khakis. Anyway, that's our fly. Fish it. Enjoy it. Again, another Uncle Ken guarantee.